So I've brought both of these images into our composition with very good reason. We're going to make our first decisions as an art director. Now, of course, our job is to end up with the best looking and most convincing image we can, especially if we're working with composite styles like this, where we're bringing in different assets to create one overall look and feel. Now, one of these beers is inevitably going to look better than the other, but I want to make obvious to you a newbie mistake. Now, I'm going to start with this image here. And if I place this on its podium in the center where it looks like the subject ought to go, now that looks fine to a degree. There are other things wrong with the image that we can tackle later. Let's just make sure that the thing looks right to start with. Now, there are a couple of things I could point out here. First and foremost, it doesn't look like it belongs as part of the same composition. We can use a blending technique in a minute, um, which we'll finish off this module with to make the thing look cohesive. But let's start from an instinctive point of view. Does that beer look like it belongs on that plinth? Now, I picked this for a reason. The perspective of the pint glass itself is very, very similar. You'll see the ellipse at the top of the pint glass is comparable to the ellipse at the top of the plinth. So a common newbie mistake would be to choose an image like this because yeah, okay, there's consistency in those two ellipses but perspective doesn't really work like this and this is where the art director's job becomes important and it's kind of contradictory because we're now dealing with things that can't really be taught you're going to develop an instinct for what looks right the more we consider how the assets look within the composition now the thing with this is perspective changes as we move up the field of vision for example if we had this plinth hanging from the ceiling it wouldn't continue on the same trajectory going through that Y axis all the way up. It just wouldn't, our eyes don't work like that. But as you'll see, if I move the other beer on top, it looks a lot more cohesive. It's still not perfectly right, but it looks like it's sat on that plinth because of the way that natural perspective works. So I guess the moral of this story is that everything that you put into your compositions, you have to consider what you're going to have to start doing is learning to ask yourself questions at every stage of your project's evolution. And this is really just us dipping our toe into the world of art direction. So I'm much happier with this subject matter. There's a lot also wrong with the lighting and the focal depth and things like that. So I'm quickly going to address those issues. I'm not going to dwell on them too long. I think the purpose of this particular lecture is just to show you that we need to start making decisions right from the outset when we start to put our compositions together.